All right, guys. Today I'm going to be showing you how to mine Pascal coin with the uh, older miner that that they come out originally. This newer one here, Pascal Coin Miner version 0.2, it's kind of in beta and it's not really doesn't seem to be finding blocks properly. And I can't exactly understand what the guy talks about fully how to use it. Maybe somebody else can make a video for that. But I'm going to be showing you how to use the Pascal Coin OpenCL Proxy Miner version one. First, you need to download the Pascal Coin Wallet and let it sync and connect to nodes until it says running. And you want to make sure when you go in here that you have your miner name set with eight characters and then go into your keys, your private keys, and change the name on that as well. And make sure it's the same thing as this, eight characters, so that it will mine properly. And then you can minimize that. And then once you download the miner file, first you want to open this uh, Java proxy that allows the miner to connect to the wallet. You have to enter the local host. And then the port. And then the number of GPUs. This computer only has one. And then enter your miner name. And then hit enter. And then your proxies running and then you want to go to the properties of the executable file copy its location and then you want to start a command prompt change directory but in the directory you can type in pascal coin open cl underscore proxy miner dot exe and then platform zero, I only have one card in here and it's an AMD. There's a separate miner for NVIDIA and it's the same way, except you would use it for NVIDIA cards and this one's for uh, AMD cards. So you put platform zero, the device is zero for this one. If you have multiple graphics cards, you have to open a separate command prompt for each individual window. And then for each different one, you would do device zero, then device one, device two, device three, such as if you have four graphics cards. So you'd have four different windows running one for each one and then you want to go put in intensity 23 is the default and you have cycle time uh, which is the time it spends hashing on it each uh, individual knots and if you have it too high it'll find multiples of the same one and it'll just you won't find blocks as often it'll mess stuff up but I find that 30 seems to work best and then just hit enter and then it'll open up and start running and then after a while, it'll start finding knots, and it'll show the knots value down here, and it'll show your hash rate. And that's basically it. You just have to sit there and wait, and if you have enough hashing power, you'll find blocks. So good luck, guys. Happy mining.